This is winners round three. We got Leo against Full Work this round. Um, Corn Devil Chip already beat Kaker this round. He's waiting for the winner of this match. And then uh, White Beast beat L Train Locomotive, and he's gonna be fighting Hollow. I think, and Alex is standing up, so that match is probably already took place. Alex, Alex. Did you already fight Mike? And it looks like White Beast has LTG Hollow. And apparently this is a, this apparently this is a excellent time for, for this is a good way to begin. Okay, and I got Rodney and CJ playing off stream right now. Um, Aaron Sloan is waiting for the loser of the match that's on stream. Oh, you mean on Xavier's stream? No, no, this... Aaron, Aaron Sloan's got to fight the, the loser of this match. Ah. If, if I'm reading my brackets right, <laughs> like I said with the medicine, I can't see shit, so... Okay, let's see. <laughs> well, actually, you're looking at losers round two. Losers of... Let's say loser of 28. Yeah. Is that 28? Uh, that is... 28 is... Yep. Okay. Right, now I got not only I be a commentator tonight, I gotta be a CNI commentator tonight. Okay. So Chip, you got the winner. Aaron, you take the loser to another station. Alright, so we got footwork playing as uh, Ken with his critical reaction colors. And Lineal's playing Armika, the otherwise known Come as on. the most irritating you know what in the big game. Wait, well, you play Ryu, you shouldn't have that much but That's uh, I think her worst matchup is Ryu. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. That, yeah, but still, you gotta get you got the Yahoo will be more than uh, Ryu. Pop off. Why are you pop off the Lineal or your health will be Oh, uh, Kurt. He's gonna play Kurt. Almost got uh, L-Train. Pop off got Kurt. And the winner of that got Tacker. I got Tacker. I got. All right, so round one going to footwork. It's always a treat when we get Leo out here to play. He doesn't, he doesn't come out all the time, but every time he does come out, he, play, he places very well. He's a, he does real good. He's definitely one of the best players so far for SRM. And, you know, and he plays a lot of the anime games, and he really likes uh, set playing. So uh, I think this is where the character really, character choice really shines for him. Armika, of course. She's as animation as the entry fire as she can get. I mean, that is a crisp ass shirt that a full has got. Critical reaction shirt. I gotta. I'm actually looking into uh, some shirts for the JWE. Oh, I want some jersey type things. Ooh, jersey. Oh, how about sweaters? Make it look. <laughs> what we get sweat nice little sweater line on the way and plus for the winter we can have nice jacket, a nice little leather jacket going on or probably for, or probably for the summer we can have the tank tops for the tank tops for the you want okay you got Darius footwork is holding his own against our Mika. I gotta give him credit. He knows how to keep, keep her off of him. And he, I mean, look at it. He is not phased by any of my army's super. 
no matter what. We're in the second match, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, the second match. Okay, so footwork on the first one? Yeah. I gotta get, I gotta get Beyonce opinion on the sweater. Hey, Beyonce! I was talking about getting, uh, jerseys for us. I, I was talking about getting some jerseys for us. And Marnon suggested, how about, for the wintertime, a nice sweater. Sweater. Like a full full length or like a sweater vest. Either one works. <laughs> I love it. It's it, dude. It is so happening. We'll we'll do the jerseys too, but we're totally getting sweater vests okay. and sweaters. Or we can do like um. We'll definitely do hoodies. That's uh. And we're gonna do we're gonna do hoodies and give those away. I'm trying to remember the name of the, I'm trying to remember what they called the shirts, the, uh, fleeces. The fleece? Yes, the fleece with the zip. Oh, is it, oh, a zip-up one? Yeah. Hmm. The ones that are half-white. So, that might be an awesome, that might be kind of awesome. Especially being that we're from Detroit. You never know, you never know in this five-hour weather. <laughs> Alright, so one round of PCR game, too. Fork applying the rushdown game, trying to keep Armika from being able to uh, get her set play started. Uh, that roundhouse finishes the job. That's it. Uh, Are you right, going to stay footwork? Uh, Next up, we got footwork versus Devil Chip. <laughs> we're getting 3D's. We're getting 3D's games like Gangbusters right now. <laughs> All right, this is still a uh, winner's bracket. We got a uh, Corn's Devil Chip, who I believe you won the last round bet, didn't you? No, uh, the one I was at. Uh, Seth. Seth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Seth, won that one. Seth won that one. Oh, okay. I believe so. I still have it. I'm still doing the score, doing the score for the ranking. Incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. we are we are currently scoring all the recent mid mashes and grand bats including this one we're doing we're going to do do a scoring to prove to see scoring and if you haven't seen it um derek here uh double chip did, did you see his music video that is it is so goddamn funny i love I, go to my page i shared it so it's on my it's on my feed, main feed if you missed it. I'm going to be looking at that right after. I'm looking at that right after. Alright, so... Oh, shoot, he's bringing on a birdie. I'm slow on the take today. I missed the handshake. And then... And now, even though uh, Footwork is is uh, sporting the uh, critical reaction logo, he is actually the new uh, the uh, the new leader of Corn as well. So uh, Brian James, when he left, wanted uh, Footwork to take over. That's gonna be a lot. You know, I just realized that's gonna be a lot of responsibilities doing two set doing two sponsors at one. Well, you know, he's uh, you know, the rest of Corn folk are gonna step up and help out. You know. <laughs> Oh, and it's an ugly people today. Oh, that's, a, that's an ugly goddamn color. Why did I even buy that? I had to. I had to. Must that must have been like an unlock? You think about it my way. You pick Lyman. Do I have the what? The pink one? Yeah. I don't think so. Why did you pick Lyman? Fight. Oh, guy. Okay. Jason, why did you? It's pick like a leprechaun. Jason, why did you pick that Lyman color? I'm not like, sure. I, I, you know what Lyman is, right? What's Lyman? That is, like, that is, a, that is, that is, that is the color of that looks like what happens. That's what a color. That's what a lemon and lime looks like when it's mixed. And it looks nasty. Very nasty. I gotta bring the I gotta bring this PlayStation around to everyone's houses so they can unlock all the colors. I mean, that's the color. Well, the lineman, I was I was either looking for an O'Reilly's or a Sprite sponsorship. I don't think Sprite would want to touch that color. So here we go. And I don't think even O'Reilly. 
and if O'Reilly get put that color in, they can just freeze in the Irish name. <laughs> And a lot of the Michigan corn players, they seem to really like uh, uh, Birdie. You got um, that's why <laughs> we got Devil Chip, and you got um, uh, F3 Alicards. Probably the best, one of the best Birdies in the nation right now. I'm gonna tell you what, that's that's one thing. He may be gone in uh, New York, but he'll he'll still watch our match videos, and he will still, you know, critique the players here. You know, get away. I need to see more of this, more of this, more of this. So, I mean, just because he's moved on, he hasn't forgot his roots. Oh, that was just sweet. Nice. Round two. Round two. underway. And... Okay. And really, a, bit, a really uh, dynamic in this matchup, too, is you got Ken, who wants to rush forward, and uh, Birdie wants to throw that banana down to slip him up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, just seen this, seen this matchup a lot. If you watch, did you see? Did you catch the uh, the twelve man Invitational in New York? Uh, no, I know I got some bits and pieces of it. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, I gotta watch the whole thing later on because I have to work that on the time. So. Well, I cherry pick and I watch uh, just the uh, twelve matches. Huh? Can win. Darius won. Okay. Darius won. Everyone's I, coming out from the grave right now. Darius, you got the winner of uh, L Train and Cobble. Fight. What? Come on. You got Cobble. You're playing a Kuma. You're playing a Kuma. You're playing a Kuma, the X on Street Fighter 5. <laughs> I think he got me, that's right here. Yeah. And we got, uh... Yeah, I wish we could have got that one on stream, too. Uh, Aaron S. and uh, Leo. So that's going to be a good matchup. Alright, so... Footwork taking that first game. And now he switched to Nakali. And I hate this. I don't mean to be rude, but if you ask me, Nakali seems to be the perfect player for Devil Chip. Takaj play. Don't you think? I can see that. All he just gotta do is drag, hold the hair a little, hold the drag a little longer, and he's uh, and then color in red, and he's all set. Oh, you gotta go all out and get the get the big big drives on there. Or put a bunch of lights in the ones that he's got already. <laughs> so he can be featured with Nikali. <laughs> and so far, the switch is uh, working out for him using the size modes. He's got forward trapped in the corner. Uppercut. Oh, he tripped him up. That DP whip cost him big time. Oh, man. Uh, he's trying to make a comeback right now. He could have had that round and screwed that up, though. He's making some good moves. He's making some smart moves. But not good enough. Round two. Luckily able to bring that back after that win. That would have been heartbreaking to lose that round. And this is still We're all we we're all we are we are right now in semifinals on the winner's side. White Which I hear that, that they'll be winners finals on uh, next match. Yeah. White bees. Look at this. We got a nice. Oh, yeah. Nice hey, white bees. You guys play two out of three or three out of five? Yeah. So, uh, it's supposed to be three out of five. Oh my goodness. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh... Now they gotta fight, now they gotta fight a... a fight the round. Set. No, just... Fight. Is that a beat him one more time? What's the score right now? Okay, now White, and now White just wish he had some gin in that sprite he's drinking. You know, it's 
Greece and Italy, this is the perfect time to do Ram Dam. And it's not because it's a great time to start to a start in May. But you know why? Why is that? Because of Combo Breaker. Oh yeah, Com start. Combo Breakers at the end of this month. Our next Ram Bat will be the weekend after. Uh, so I'm going to see about doing two. I want to see how many people are not going to Ram Bats. And obviously who, who's not going to Ram Bats. And if enough people are not going, I'll, I want to see about doing a, um, on Sunday, uh, finals day, actually, if there's if we can get the room for the whole day, writing it out, having the stream uh, streams up out of the TV, have, you know, have some casual set, you know sessions up. It just all depends if people if people are are going to show up and if people are willing to pay because they'll they'll be more expensive than usual. You can always you can always ask them. That's the microphone. And this is three out of five, gentlemen. Can we know one? Yeah. Okay. And I and honestly, I cannot I cannot wait to go to Combo Breaker. I'm a I'm hoping to go there to get my reward. Fight. One, okay. I'm hoping to go there just to learn. Hey, Aaron. Tell us about your event coming up. Oh, you got an event coming up? Oh, dude. So we got uh, my second tournament, my monthly series uh, up in East Lansing called Battle Under the Mountain. It's at my comic book store, Hollow Mountain Comics, uh, next Sunday, which is the 8th. Uh, sign up's going to be at 1 o'clock, and we're going to start a little after that. Uh, and it's only Street Fighter Five for now. Um, but we've got a ton of extra prizes. There's a bounty for anyone who beats Banana Can of $25 per set. And we've also got $100 in uh, store credit to a game store up there in Lansing that's going to be raffled off. So it's just a ton of value. should be a fun tournament. Um, and all that stuff's in addition to the normal prizes. So everybody should come. Thank you. You said you lost. You said you lost. You said you lost. So there you go, battle. So there you go, battle under the mountain. Oh, my name's Lansing. Hey, Aaron. You got anyone streaming that next week? You want me to come out for that? What time's the start? Uh, one. And it's next Sunday? Man, everyone's getting, everyone's gonna get their game on this most. Any, any more events like this? Hey, Kurt, we're gonna put you on stream. They're already on stream. Oh, I don't have another match after, after this one. I don't have another match except that one. Oh. Okay, that's good. But, I, but as I was saying, any more events like this come um, popping up, um, everybody, everybody in the game is ready for combo breaker for sure. All right, so we got. I got to double check stuff with the wifey, but uh, if um. Nicole, and if Holly wins. wins that next match, so it's two one. Yeah. Just don't try to choke. Hello, everybody. This is Dad Red Cup. Dad Rad. Rad Dad uh, Jalen. Who has just become a, who just become a father. Alright, so we are at 2-1. And, <laughs> and now he is unleashed the bison. Oh, the bison. No, the bison. Uh, no, he goes like Bison or something. Yeah, he's uh, the best Bipson. The best Bipson. <laughs> bison! Internet sling, my time. Settle down or you won't get your sweater. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> 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 
Yo, like, wasn't it like the garden snake where it was like red and black and shit being death or something? I'm not sure. Why the hell does Makali got garden snakes right here? Is he like being with himself? Like, uh, yeah. let's just say he has like, been sleeping. He's kind of like with family going in case. Right. It's like, like a war god or something. Right. And then like, why, why is Bison like cream color? It's just like... You know how you get like that really dingy ass color that you accidentally bleach out but not all the way? So that shit's like stuck at the nasty ice smoke yellow? Well, I think the last person who did his laundry has never been spoken to that scene again. Yeah, that's exactly what this nigga's suit is like. He looked like the nigga. That's how long he's been living. He smoked that many cigars. <laughs> like, it is. Or the, or the real dingy Luke Skywalker in the end of the yeah, new movie. Exactly. Like, bitch, how'd you find my lightsaber? Where's my hand, Round bitch? Two. You found the lightsaber. Where, it was a hand on it. Like, Where's my hand in this piece stains on my robe? Right. Because I didn't think I was going to see anyone today. <laughs> like, that's, that's why you had that long ass stare. Like, <laughs> I totally would have changed my pants if I knew there was a hot chick hey, coming out here. Like, shit, nobody sent me a memo. I gave y'all niggas a map. Y'all could have just emailed me. <laughs> oh, nice ground. Well, man, and I'm doing that stay at home dad thing right now, so I, I'll go two or three days without what? Water? Exactly. <laughs> I'll just be in this jar. Exactly. Oh, you're going to your mom on this I feel you. Uh, like, but you, ain't, you know you ain't going to be doing shit to get home from work. Exactly. I'm tired of being a dad anyway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. I feel you on that. Like, shout out to all parents that have had their children live past two months. Like, that shit is so hard. Shout out to any of my kids that have survived my parenting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see squats if I'm not a parent. Oh, um, man. Trust me, bro. Right? Like, like, having a kid is like having the most fragile thing in the day. Yeah, dude, find a really, really, like, lonely, fragile girl and just knock her up. Just, just, just for shits and giggles, dude. Get, get the first kid out of the way. Oh, yeah. You do this shit. Like, believe it or not, like, that's what's like, really real. Like, when you're, like, regardless of how long you know this woman, she's gonna show you for real sign and shit. You know, the, like, when you first start dating so, your... Chip, you want to... So, being that you guys are parents, how about I ask a nice little... I do this nice little quiz for the two of you. Okay. Say your daughter is... Say your daughter is uh, is in high school age. Okay. And, he see, and she meets a girl... I mean, she meets a guy. Sorry, my bad. She meets a guy. And they, and you are... And you're not so... And you're not so sure about him. How would you handle it? I'd be like, no, I don't see that nigga. Like, if I see you around that nigga again, I'm gonna beat you. Well, you know, I had to, I had to, like, here's the thing, like, you know, my oldest daughter's 15, you're gonna be 16 soon, like, next year. Dude, you're like, aren't you like 35? No, I'm 42. What? <laughs> I'm 31. Shit, you oh. pulled a Brett Favre on my ass. I thought that was still in the NFL until, like, last year. Hey, I'm 31. And, uh, um, 31? Bro, you look like like twenty two year old Justin Wong. Exactly, you look like Justin Wong. You're, 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 you really think I look like Justin Wong? Doesn't he look like Hawaiian Justin Wong? Oh, see, <laughs> confirmed, confirmed, see. Yeah, he does. Exactly, there. We go. Just, this just in. Bardon is off brand wrong at work. So, but anyway, so my so she's my daughter's fifteen. Oh, this one. You. But she looks like a woman. I mean, she's fall already fully like looks. No, like don't don't give me that. I'm trying to keep, yeah. keep that visual going. I'm like I don't want to see that with your daughter. Yeah. You know, and um, I mean, she and she's a spitting image of her mom, just a little shorter version. And her mom was, her mom was pretty hot, not anymore. Oh, <laughs> Holy bitch. Her, but, <laughs> but um, but she got the attention of. Romantic attention of an 18 year old boy. Right. Now, I had met this 18 year old boy, and I could tell he was like the most harmless looking person ever. How much did I win from you? Oh, All right, uh, so I'll figure we out got just a Taker. second. Uh, and, uh, but to like Ash, put up a good yeah. face for her mom, okay. I like Let's sent look. like this really long, nasty, violent, I'm gonna Whoa. kill you letter over Facebook. Oh, and then, um, then copy and paste it and send it to uh, my, my, my ex-wife 
and then sit back a message right away saying, that was just for show, don't worry about that, I don't really mean that. But I don't think he believed me because I kept running into this kid at, um, um, at uh, Unicon, and he'd go running the other way. It was, it was hilarious. Wow. Yeah. Well, in my opinion, that's, that's pretty much my image of what a father is basically supposed to do. Right. Always put the fear down on people. Yeah, I'm the guys, I'm the guys who are people who date their daughters. Oh yeah, it's like, we're about, I'm trying to become a state police officer. As soon as I get that rank and that status, I'm a big, I'm a go to fucking, what's that, the t-shirt for any place, custom t-shirts, every fucking year to get my daughter a different size shirt of me on the front of it saying, this is my dad, try me. <laughs> he says, try me. Yeah. I will do. I will do that. I will make sure those niggas see me before they see my daughter's titties. Like, nigga, you sure you want? You sure you want to look at this nigga? You sure? You ready? You ready? Nigga, I won't beat your ass. Like, they gotta. If they can do that shit, then they're like the biggest balls, nigga. I'm gonna beat the ass. I'm gonna beat the ass. Like, what? No, forget it. Okay, so we got Ash, we got Ashy Alex against the Blitz Rashid. I don't know if you guys have seen Keanu, but there was a man, there was a man named, he was a blip, he was a blood in a crib, ladies and gentlemen, and he said you had to go through some hard shit to be in a <laughs> uh, so that's what, that's, that's what Rashid is, Rashid's a blip. He's yeah, he also, he's also a spitting, oh, spitting image of Kurt. Dog, he's, he's, he's almost a spitting image of Kurt, God. provided Kurt does some work on his beard, he'll be a spitting image. Oh yeah, like, you just gotta put, like, like have a go licking. In order to do it, you gotta test the shit that everybody knows just to make sure you cover all that. Like, every time you see you gotta step up. Like, every time you see me, like, you got like that forward progression, they're right there with you. It's like Dark Souls. That was actually feel. It's like Dark Souls real life. You yeah, died. Dark Souls FGC. <laughs> Alright, so. Died. You died. You died. You exactly. died. You so, died. Captain Kirk got hiding in the shadows, never coming to Mondays, and then all of a sudden, poof, shows up. Oh, yeah, Curtis Takumi Young. That's his FB in well, let's see, Facebook name. He had uh who do you let's see, who do you lose to? Who'd you lose to, Kurt? Who beat you? Uh White Beast. White Beast? Okay, so White Beast beat him and we got okay. Yeah, we got yeah, we got plenty. We're almost done. So we got uh, Aaron Sloan, Aaron S. East Lansing. Yeah, East Lansing's premier tournament organizer. 
He actually used to do uh, do the Rambats before uh, Aaron and Jim got it, and then before I got it. Wow. So there's some. I can't believe, like, you know, like, because you think, because you've never seen him until, like, he's made his debut. Like, you think, like, who is nobody, that guy? And he shows up, and he beats everybody's ass, and you find out he's, like, an icon of the FBC. That's, like, pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like humble pie for your ass. That's really cool, though. Like, dude, I saw Jim for the first time. I was like, damn, that's like the FGC is like the YMCA, I guess. <laughs> oh, he, he, good guy Jim was uh, sporting that that homeless YMCA look for a little bit. <laughs> yes, the nigga had the thong flops on, bro. And if uh, in the sweater, bro. And if you want to know what if you want to know what that look looks like, it kind of looks like me today. The unshavedness. Um, if I, my, if I had my red hat, that you'd be calling, like, you'd be accusing me of doing Fred Durst uh, roleplay. Yeah, that you gotta always have the thong flops, bro. Like, the only oh, weird niggas wear thong flip flops. Right? <laughs> <laughs> weird niggas like wanna be bad bitches wear thong flip flops by the below. All right, so Captain Kurt is playing as a uh, Rashid. You got Aaron S doing Vega. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever ever gotten a chance to see Aaron play, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh, like he came out of nowhere with this game, man. Like, you know, before him, you know, Matt King was normally the only game he saw around. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Matt King's another one of the Street Fighter Four players that are having a little bit of trouble, like a, converting to five. You got um. Well, I know because this character's changed dramatically. Well, the, the characters changed. I think the systems changed. Yeah, it's like a lot. Like, I can understand why a lot of people still speak about it. Well, you got the whole FADC, like you can do one for your like, But what I really hate about Street Fighter Five is that you notice how much more like press Street Fighter Five got. Yeah. How much more what press? press. Like Street Fighter Four came out. You know, it was cool. And you saw guys like guys like Dino doing the most amazing shit. And you're like, oh, I can do this. So you try, try, try for the next seven years. And you know, every time you think you caught up to Dino, he's like five steps ahead of you. And you can never do it because he just gets it that way. Like he gets to that point where you but, can stop. But I think, I think another, I would say just, you know, not much longer, another couple of months, you're going to see the people that were always placing really high in four here. Um, Mad King, Q, Darius, they're going to be back on top. It's really, right now, it's almost like right now they're having to unlearn how to play Street Fighter 4. Yeah, because they're so used to that and all that. Yeah, where you, where you got a person like Wendell who won the very first tournament here, because this is like a whole lot like 3 is a little bit, uh -huh. you know, so. 3 with a hint of 2 as well. Yeah, the game has more... And that's the hardest thing too when you see somebody uh, switching and when a game switches over. You know, a lot of times when these games switch from two to three, three to four, and now four to five, you do have a lot of players that just drop off the mat. Like, I mean, where is uh, that dude from New York? Um, the the Dudley player. Smug. Yeah, Smug. Yeah, the fuck is Smug. In fact, where is Team Pie? Right. That, that whole team just like evaporated. Yeah. But I have, I have total faith in um, in Mad King and, and uh, Q and Darius that, you know, they're, I mean, they're already all getting better week after week, learning how to, you know, unlearn the previous game. And that, that is a really big skill, how to unlearn. I mean, goddamn, the game was around for, what? It was around seven for like seven years. years. Nine. Seven and a half years. Seven, eight, seven, eight years, I think. Yeah. Win. And, like, you know, and, you know, that was cool about that, because I remember I talked to Alucard about it, and I was watching, like, Grand Bats all the way back from, like, 2012 and shit. I was like, dude, like, how do you know, you know, like, you started off this game, right? right? And he told me, man, I'm gonna be true. I'm gonna be true to you. If it wasn't for Adonis, I would not have been true. Like he said, this is only five years ago. And I was like, wow. And like he said, I didn't really make a name, a real name for myself until like 2010. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. Like, 
Well, and then and that's true though, because like when I started hanging around these guys around 2010, 2011, Aquan was good, but he wasn't at the top of the heap. You had, um, you had uh, Tony Jennings was at the top. You, you had guys like uh, um, D Dog was at the top for the most part. Uh, you know the TFA people who was the roost. Um, uh, Checkmate was at the top, and uh, it was it was really in Street Fighter Four you had. Um, you had Antoine Skyrack into the top. You had Q break out and become a superstar. Right. You had uh, Mad King uh, really, you know, really, really started breaking out. And uh, but yeah, seven years of Street Fighter Four. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of habits to unlearn. And I'm finding like as far as like when you know when I'm playing online, I'm actually and I'm playing like matches here here and there. Uh, here at the um, at the weeklies and shit, I'm actually doing better in Street Fighter Five. Well, that's because I was always terrible at Street Fighter Four. I, exactly. I I never got good at that right. game. Yeah, like, you always feel like. I mean, when I played Four, I it was it felt difficult to try and do some of the most important exactly. combos ever. Exactly. But now in Five, it's like you can. It's like it's a lot better to do it. You can do it. No, like you can see, you can watch Daigo do it, and then you can do it yourself in like five or six tries. Instead of seeing like that, so you can only see that Sakura no Hero equal you 48 hit combo. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. You can never do like, you, like, no offense, you or me, like, or anybody here, like, only first people that could probably hit it was like Mad Cats, EG, those type of niggas. But after that, you can't reach that level. You cannot reach the level of Sakura no Hero. I don't think anybody. Like, Daigo, Daigo is very close to Sakura no Hero, in my opinion. Infiltration, who's actually really like he's isn't he like number one in the world right now? At this point, he at this point, according to SRK, he probably is. Let me check the uh, yeah, because I thought it like because I remember I was watching uh, Texas Showdown, and he was like, Yeah, he doesn't even need any more wins, he's already in the Capcom Cup, he's won that many majors. He just took he just took off, like he's like the Sako Noko of Nash right now, he, he's just tearing off everyone. Like endlessly, like he um, I think he perfect like he got a perfect win with Takedo. I think I'm not one hundred percent sure, but he, he had a huge life lead. Like he stunned him and everything. He was just three and zero, three and zero, three and zero on everyone. He was a round one. Right, like at this point, the infiltration is like a number one in the SRK ranking. That yeah. actually makes him the number one player in the world. In this you, you see him in every single grand final. Every single grand piano you watch, all like all this stuff. You'll see him like you'll see Alucard like top 50. Yeah. You'll see guys. You see Justin Wong. Justin Wong's making it to the top eight a lot more now. You know Justin Wong used to get knocked out like top 16 all the time or something top 32. Justin Wong is making a turnaround. Uh, yeah, it's really good. You see like you see guys like Daigo getting beat more often. You know he's he's doing better. But you see like, guys like the Tokido, younger guys, like, you see a lot of the younger guys on the rise, like the infiltrate. He's the only old one. But he's not It's amazing how guys like these people are. And it's amazing how like... Like, even people here, like everyone here is like a fighting game to use their own. Like, they might not have like the know-how and like... They, they might be the older models, but everybody here is a fighting game thing. Is the people that can take it to, like at least up to Super Bronze or Ultra Bronze. Well, let's go with Ultra Bronze because most like super, you get a lot of Super Bronze that are just annoying with online habits. So we have the FGC icon against FTG. Hollow. God bless you. He didn't say thank you. It's gonna like hurt my feelings. Vega, I'll show you the epitome of uh, Vega versus Rasheed. Oh no, he's picking that bin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, he's God bless you. Yeah. Please say thank you. This points. Round 
I wonder if they're I wonder if they're all putting money on putting money down on the chat. Wait, chat's I was just saying, I wonder if every, anybody in the chat is making and taking any match. Oh, is that like your way of like saying like when the championship taking mittens? Huh? Papa, you said like taking mittens. I don't know. Like, is that like your way of like the championship? I said, I wonder if anybody in the chat are taking any bets. Oh, sorry. My knowledge of playing as Bison when he was not when he was normally a bird player. Uh, Round two. Fight. I'm gonna let these guys sort of get bird and I guess you get actually able to see them uh grade grad but wanna be a little bit more comfortable. It looks like like now Vega looks like he's auditioning for Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's one one. Final round. He was gonna win that video was gonna take this one and boom! Right. Round one. That's impressive. Fight. Yeah, but you got like Bison one. Bison one one and I think take a one. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a one, I think. Oh, it's a one? Yeah, this is your first word, right? Never mind, they talking. They ain't talking. Yeah, I think it's all one though. It's like all stars like him that you see every week. It's kind of re really impressive. I think he's just coming into his own. That's the years and years of practice. Like now he is. He's an all star here, I guess. Like when you say who you see at his matches every week, you say, oh, this is that. You, you, see, you see Hollow there. Hollow's in here like. Almost every week, and if he has a man, he's probably going to go to You see him all the time in money match videos and Actually, I think he makes a lot of, I think he makes a lot of his money here. What stage is he again? The player? I said, what's, what's the Vega player's name again? Uh, Aaron S. Aaron S. Bryce has only got a. How oh, really got a big old go. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. Finally got that When in doubt, when in doubt, like, when in doubt, crush it down. Yeah, will save your life. It actually does damage in this game. Oh, it's a DX Yeah, that's... That's just... 
That's just rude. Never should Vega be able to do, do that much in a combo. Like, I hate how he's basically like a wrestler. Like, he's a wrestler Charles character hybrid in the game. They gave him a command. They gave him two commands, man. On top of his normal Vega tag. And I think that's, see, like that. I, I think that's the thing. Like, one of the characters that were... They were trying to take Shoto's out of this game, were they not? Because if people were talking about Shoto's wrong. Who won your match? Who won your match? We still got Kenny, we still got... Next match is you and Footwork on stream. Well, Ken is cool, like, yeah, even though Ken is a Shoto, he has his own individual set, you know, individualized a lot. Yeah. Like, he's not, he's no longer, like, he man or you, but with more hits. Because Kid was just a combo dummy all before. You can get stuff off of Ryu, but you can get like twice the shit off of Kid and still have the power of a hero. But that's all he wants is Ryu. Make sure they know this is 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5? Okay. Next match is going to be 3 out of 5. And Ryu that. I know he's talking about the screen grab, but it's actually it's kind of an unfair tool how a character can have so many mix-ups in a game with only three or four mix-ups. Like, you have options. And a lot of the characters don't, but the fact that you have so many options to play, so many average to play, but, uh, one of the characters Jason said it was 3 out of 5, right? No, 3 out of 5 for footwork. No, no, 3 out of 5 for this guy. Oh, for these guys too? Okay. I did, I, did, I did the last two. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, so, so it is. Also, give a big shout out to Jason. Jason has really changed up the tournament to be viewer friendly, I suppose. Like, you know, you'd be able to get through like a random match or... Like, he's going with the price to attract more casuals to kind of make it out. You know, before, like, when Jim, like, when Schoolcraft was starting to, like, five for Bingy and then ten per game, and then they didn't put a price graph on it, like, Schoolcraft made so much money. Like, but so did also, so did the FGC. But at the same time, we gotta, like, think about it because the player effect is, like, a lot of your average gamers don't have $30, $35 to drop just like that. Like, I just want to say shout out to Jason because he, he put a price cap on it. And I thought that was like, super cool. Like, he's like, you know, whatever comes first, like, you pay like a whole game, or you pay over so many dollars. Round two. I, mean, I think that's real cool. I think that's like really helps attract a more casual gamer. Really environmental. Is it possible to turn off our he headphones so I can barely hear it? You can hear me? Yes. I don't know why, but it's just... Hello? It's me. I was wondering... You can't hear me singing Adele right now? I'm, t I'm singing like the best Adele in the world right now, you can't hear me. I can, I can hear you, but it's like... You're fake, it's like... You're very soft when you speak. Whoa. I'm a soft guy. That's true. I'm pretty soft. Aw, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked into that one. I walked into that one like a wake up sweep. Oh, oh wake up DP. That's the no worst. That's how bad I walked into that one. Damn. Now it's over. Aaron S. Aaron S. Finishes. Oh, Vega wins. 
to the losers finals. They're gonna take that money back to East Lansing. Probably make us all. That's probably why he's here. He wins. That, this is probably the reason why Aaron is here. He wins this tournament. He takes the money down over there and he puts it as a pot bonus. That makes us every everybody come over to East Lansing. He buys himself comic books as he does. Oh. Porn comics? Like, this nigga gotta pay for porn again? I ain't. Be a man. Like, he's stuck in the double zeros with that, man. Well, give me your $9 Yo, ass don't got Wi Fi or at least a data plan on your phone so you can Google some porn. Yo, ass shouldn't even be alive at this point. Like, what the hell? Oh, there's money on the table. You go to U of M? Yeah. But you're, like but you're in each, but you're in from Lansing! Really? Yeah. What, what is this? Beyonce goes to U of M Dearborn. What is your major? Digital marketing. That's so fucking cool. So you're like Kirito? Huh? Are you like Kirito? Kirito? Kirito. I thought he was like going to school for that and then he found out he can like make a girl with AIDS turn into a pixie. No. Digital marketing is marketing, but for like technology and stuff, you know? So like. He's from Ace Lansing? But, so like you're gonna from like of them? whoa? That fucking cool, man. There's no fucking first. No wonder you're so good here. You're a fucking genius. Hey. I said no wonder you're so good at these games. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> ah, no. Wait a minute. So he's art. from. Oh wait a minute. That's the wrong guy. Oh, so we got Klondike Bar Ken. Oh, never mind. My bad. I... Doesn't he look like a Klondike Bar? Oh, Ken. Fight. He looks like the Klondike Bar Bear logo. Like that's uh, that's the critical reaction colors. Oh, that's so cool. They got their own color. Yeah, they're they're blue and white. Uh, flip side is uh, green, uh, green and black. Oh, green and white. Orange so cool. is pretty much black. Huh? I'm Orange is all black. I gotta pee. I'm <laughs> You pee in that cup for our enjoyment, Mr. Dad. Our granddad would pee in that glass. And then hopefully someone would think it was the, they didn't finish their beer and would God it. damn, no. I'll be right back. Some people can worry about you, Jason. How can he make up? How can he make up for all this for that for that loss? Just keep doing the ground pound, blocking. Well, he's been a rough go of things lately. I mean, in uh, Street Fighter Four, um, Alex Lane is the person who couldn't get the one. In this game, it's uh, it's uh, let's get my corner again. I think I'm coming through. No, no, never mind. Never mind. Earlier, this microphone was coming through the uh, loudspeaker for no reason when I had it turned down. I gotta, I gotta get this thing fixed. But anyway, this game, it's Michael Washington. It's uh, his teammate. Uh, SRM I'm hollow. You just can't get past him. He lost a heartbreaker to him last week, last Monday, and they just lost him tonight. Oh, the DP that. Can win. Luckily, though, <coughs> through luck of the draw, he doesn't have to worry about him for the rest of the night because uh, Howard's out. Fight. The winner here is going to go up against uh, Aaron S. And you know, that's the funny thing with how, how a double elimination tournaments work. If you look at the bracket on Shalange, uh, M M D S F B. You'll see that uh, Darius was knocked in the losers by Hollow, but they were on opposite sides of the losers bracket, and Hollow got eliminated by uh, Aaron S. If uh, Darius can squeak, squeak by footwork here, they can find themselves in the uh, losers finals. Uh, 
I'm sorry, loser semi is against Aaron S. Now, is this is this a, is this the second game or the first game? Yeah, I think this is the second game because Ken's already got a win under his belt. Ken's already got a win under his belt, so. Double check at the end of this round. Oh. That just wiped out a lot of his life. No, probably as many Kens as uh, after this match. If Darius loses this match, he really needs to go check out that New York tournament and watch out the same for Kelly Antoine Ortiz matches. Oh, Lord. Because uh, Footwork's kind of, kind of, I wouldn't say exactly, but he does have a very, uh... Footwork, is that you? Ken okay. wins. Footwork's, uh, Ken is, uh, reminds me a little bit of Sanford Kelly, as far as the fact that his Ken is always moving forward, his Ken is always doing something. Round one. Because I think Darius could sort of maybe spend a little time, if he, if he ends up losing this, he needs to study that matchup. Those matches between Antoine and uh, Sanford. Because, man, I tell you what, you what? If you get a, you said you haven't watched those matches yet, have you? No, I will. I guess that my only match is some big stuff that was not work, but now well, that's the whole thing. I swear to God, uh, do you remember? Uh, you, you're probably too young, but you remember the show Sanford and Son? Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, literally, Sanford Kelly is Sanford, and Antoine is Lamont. You look, just look at look at Sanford, Sanford's face every time Antoine beats him. He just is like, I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm gonna <laughs> this is the big one. Antoine owns him. That fucking soul. Then again, so is Justin Wong. Yeah, in, in such a short time, it seems like he's uh, Anton's almost outgrown New York already. It's time for him to time for him to move to California. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. Final round. All right, match point for uh, Ford. He can pull this next round. He's gonna be going up against Aaron S. Yeah, but you gotta remember, but there's still a lot to learn from New York. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I don't think he's gonna give up. Just for, he's gonna stay there for one. He's gonna stay there for one year. Right? He's gonna stay there for a long time. I mean, yeah, that's his base of operations right now. Um. But man, it only took two years of competing out here to run out of competition here. Uh, how long is it going to take him before he runs out of competition in New York? Guy's a juggernaut, man. No, so this, match, this match is pretty even. Darius needs to get the next round for the point on the board. Nothing but blows right now. Right now. And footwork is, you know, he's put in the footwork in this oh, game. Oh, he dropped that Okay, so what I miss? You missed a, you missed footwork. You missed a move of just dropping a foot, dropping a combo. Oh, man. It's a 2 0. -oh. Footwork sent here, uh, match point. He's looking to, uh, stuff Darius away. Find themselves in, uh, in loser semis again. They meet the trade on anti air. Yeah, there it is. There it is again. They found themselves in quite a bit of even life. So you see, just leave my white side. Never mind. Never mind. Darius has done that. I really think he got. He shouldn't have come up with that too early. Uh, it's not so bad. It's just not, like at least we have to prepare for the shit to like God mode the collie. But, uh, 
there, you stuffed it out. Yeah, you're the dive out your second win, ladies and gentlemen. Two. But I cried down and died, pig. He said, I want to take this back to Street Fighter 4. So these died, pig. And I see they're wrapping up over on the air, so I gotta go get a venue piece from those guys. Oh, okay. I'll be there. Oh, oh, that's oh, good. Man. oh, man, you're dropping oh, oh, oh. It's not so bad. It's just like, at least you have to prepare for the shit. You just have to prepare for the shit to, like, not go in the collie. But, uh, there you stuffed it out. Yeah, you're the dive kick. Your second win, ladies and gentlemen. Two. Three. 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 He said, I want to take it back to Street Fighter 4. So these dive kicks. And I see they're wrapping up over on the air, so I gotta go get a venue piece from those guys. Oh, okay. I'll be there. Oh, 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 man. Oh, 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 oh. Help. Uh, you just gotta plug it in. You just gotta speak a bit. Huh? Oh, you plug? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Alright. Final round. Oh, we find ourselves Sorry. in the final round with our tech tips. Good luck. Big table. Oh, Darius finds himself on the tail end of his stun bar. Wolfie, get it. Oh! Here he spins the two cars of them. Get rid of his son. But he finds himself. So it's a terrible life for him. And he's out. But what a great. What a. Can win. That was good, though. He definitely stepped up. and now footwork goes up against the RNS. And Lucas round seven, six. Chris Pinchel. Is this Losers Finals? Losers Semis. Losers Semis? Losers Finals. Oh, okay. Who's the winners? If Chip, White Beast, and Footwork call laws, who's the winners? This is a brand new team. Solid. What are the rockets doing? Jason? Round one. Fight. Definitely okay? Jason. I said something bad. I don't think I said it earlier. But anyway, Garrett Ness in Jackson Horn Footwork still in round one of their first fight. Are they in round one? They're in round one still, right? This is a pretty long round one. Game one right now. 
looking really right. even. Footwork's kind of looking to even up the life lead. Oh, good tag. A lot of things. Even even when you know it's coming, one of the harder things to like take is like you can't run up bro. That's so bad. Yeah, he yeah. went Oh, good trade. He said he didn't care about the trade. I'm gonna be doing like a special round. So I guess we're hearing about why people aren't playing Mortal Kombat anymore. You can hear it in the background. You can hear it from here. That's so bad. I didn't think that like this path would ruin so much of Mortal Kombat though. I mean, I guess they would call themselves releasing trying to stick to Mortal Kombat 9's laws about like you know the somewhat like you can break it, break it type thing. And they tried to normalize it. And I guess that just that, that was too big of a change for everybody. Like Lanel was Lanel or Eldrain was saying how he was done because once Cyrex came out he was fine and then when they packed him they gave him a cool thing on a special. And I can see I can see how that will like really take away off like all things that's like the most time sensitive test fighting game if you to give me a cool thing. Um, I guess I can I can that's kinda of bullshit. That is bullshit. Oh, oh! Footwork just pulled a Sonic Fox. Oh, never mind. Uh, the Michigan used to be one of the bigger uh, MKX communities. Too. I guess it's like one of them. as much as six people for a Good command, and that's that was a great command grab. Don't get me wrong, but I can see it's like that big guy who's basically a wrestler. Like his own. He's like a gay El Fuerte I mean, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of carrying Vega because the only Vega I know is Matt. Who else plays Vega? I know somebody in Vega plays Vega. Oh, I Sometimes, sometimes even, even the most scared. Have you ever noticed that, like, you see, you have the players that, uh, like, switch to top tiers all the time, right? You know, you, you got players that bounce around like that, like, uh, I know, it was after the other. Who does that all the time? Uh, not Bon Chan. Q does it? Yeah, Q. He, he like switches up to top tiers all the time. But, like, sometimes he loses to character loyal players. Like, you know, people like Mad King that have been playing Vega since Vega came out. Like, he has not changed. Even in Street Fighter V, he has not changed his main. His main. Once they found out how big a work he stuck to it, he went right back to it. So like I'm just saying like people that are character loyal sometimes like can out trump people that are like top tier. Yeah. 
because they know they know they already would know the matchup, or they would already know their character's brain data that much from that much muscle memory and training. It's basically about. It's basically about. Remember that? Oh, remember that? You remember? You ever seen Rambo Three? What? You ever seen Rambo Three? No, I saw John Rambo. All right, the Rambo Three. Now, what? The story about uh, what's going on? Uh, who had a piece of what? Who had a big rock? Right. The big rock was. Something special to that sculptor. The next day, he just shows it off, and everyone says he looks beautiful. What are you done with it? He said nothing. The portrait was there. I just took away some of the pieces. If you think about that way, you, your character is there. But moments in the training room, you're stripping away all the rough, the rough patches out. Right. And you're getting, and you are eventually turning your character into a lead being fighting a team, ready for turning, ready to. Exactly. Ready to execute no matter what game. Exactly. Yeah. So like, shout out, like, and you are not like. And it sucks though, because you gotta think about like people like Smug and PR Balrog. Like PR Balrog has always played with Balrog in his name. Like he's never seen him play with anybody else. I was probably trying to convert to the colleague and like see how hard of a time he's having. Like he's doing great. He is. He's been in like top eights at every major, but like still, it's just it kind of sucks to see them not using their main off rig. When I first when I first played Street Fighter Five, I was playing Ken. Right. And some and then I played some and then I played the Don and people said I play a good Don. Right. That's, probably, that's the reason why my that's where my name comes from. Martin, my real name is Martel, but I added but I mixed Mar and put Don from Adon and named Mardon. So because I played Mardon on Street Fighter Four. Right. But I had to stop it. But I had to stop it and play. For a while because of Ultra, and then I went to read because I need to learn the fundamentals. And then I quickly grew to Ryu a lot, and I feel that I, me and Ryu had some had sort of a sort of something in common that we're both we both learned we both learned from we tried to both learn from we tried to and we both tried to get, and we both tried to find that. Find that something that make that'll that'll make us strong. Seriously, I mean, Ryu is the most balanced character in the game, and I feel like playing the most balanced character can help can really help you understand all the other characters. All the other characters. Not from behind. Whether you play all of them or not. Right. This just sucks. So, it's footwork out? Footwork is out for the first time. Wow. He has been dethroned rather early this week. So apparently somebody just got fucked across the room. Oh, this is an upset right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that just, that's just like, makes it seem a little bit more amazing how, you know, you may be here next week. Or you may be like the champion this week, but like it doesn't guarantee you spot next. Week. That's kind of cool. How like Michigan can flip flop on champions like that. Because I remember, especially like in the Twan days, like before Twan was like Twan got super relevant. You just see him just walking off everybody's money. Are you coming tomorrow? Or? Oh, this is just. Like, what time do you usually get off? Um, like ten. We can start holding the Mortal Kombat tournaments off a little bit. 
Or at least just go up and play, because Chad, Chad gets lonely up here playing around. Right Jason, trying to keep the World Combat community alive. And it looks like everyone's closed up. Xavier, uh, L.S. is packing up his stream. 11.37, almost midnight. Holy oh, shit, I gotta get home. My wife is so pissed at me. For all you know, she's probably watching the stream right now. Gotcha. Hey, uh, Jason, is there, any, is there any way we can look at the chat and see if anyone's been, uh, asking? Don't scare me like that. He's trying to work his magic. Don't, don't interrupt him working his magic. I, I did, you know, I did peek at the chat earlier and did see that, uh, Mad King was mad at me for calling him a Street Fighter 4 player. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Oh, uh, well, like, because... You make it sound like you're ashamed of being a Street Fighter 4 player. Yeah, now. like, you can't... Oh, honestly, Mad King... Oh, you got a pretty active chat. You got Q, Mad King, the Pews. Wow. Uh, oh, no. Is everybody, is everybody mad in there? Seth is in there. It sounds is terrible. Like that. It sounds like a terrible rundown. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody's pissed right now. Like, what the fuck do you mean it's Street Fighter 4? I got beat your ass I wouldn't be game. surprised, because lately, when the internet go like it gets degraded, um, the audio, the vocals, for some reason, gets degraded. <laughs> Vocals? And it usually happens around this time. Uh, Should be okay. We're at a. We'll check it. So we have Devil Chips. I just realized Nakali and Devil Chip are like soulmates. Because, like. <laughs> Like both the Nakali, oh both Nakali and Devil Chip have dreads. And like, if you look at Devil Chip and then you look at Nakali, they kind of. Nakali versus Bang. <laughs> we got we got this great Kool Aid. Winners finals. Yeah, winners finals. Devil Chip versus White Beast. <laughs> Ouch. You see, White Beast is just. Oh, he's always been like the Chris kind of player. So, like, you, you, see, you rarely see him ever drop the ball. He's always been one about it. You can see it. One thing he does once he finds a character, he will stick to that character until he is as crisp as it is against Devil Chip. For all we know, Aaron S is waiting for waiting for waiting to go up against the next person and he's gonna draw jump in the loser's bracket. He's there patiently looking at his phone. Probably looking at FAT, doing a text or something. One thing for sure, he is, his nerves is not unshaken. He is taking a look at the competition though. And then he goes back to the phone. Well, I can tell you what, Mardon, you're too far away from the microphone. I am. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get a little bit closer. Alright, how's this? Better. Make you up to the microphone. Why do I hear Nigga music? Oh, never mind. I thought it was Nigga music out there. Like, what the heck is that? I don't heard that. Like, it's turn off that. Oh, it, it, the, the phone's feedbacking into it. Let me shut that off. Oh, look. Yay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get into the, uh... Gotta step in, dude. Gotta treat you like a sweet nipple. How you doing, stream? Kind of twisted a little bit. So anyway, <laughs> big question. Uh, Jason, watch big question. Head 
Another big question for the first. You know, I tell you what, Mardon is so like well spoken and gentlemanly. I bet you when no one's looking, he just tears that shit up. Like, come here, woman. <laughs> <laughs> he low key sucks the asshole. Like <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 Um, the sour so, face, Mardon. Because it's because you're, you're so literate, man. Nothing, nothing makes up for more like bad man stuff than eating the asshole. That's like the, the that's your get out of jail free card. No, like real talk though. Eating ass is not that bad. I'm gonna be real with you. I ate my wife's ass out many a time. Oh yeah, and girls are so clean with their assholes. They're not yeah, like boys. Exactly. I don't even. Th I think when a girl poops, it doesn't even touch. I right. think. It, I, it just, I think the, it just the butthole just out. opens up and it just falls out. Right. That shit do be sounding gentle as fuck when they're in the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell? Like, I don't. I don't hear like a tsunami happening. Well, like a boy. I mean, we could scrub up to the second knuckle, scrub it out, right. spray it. <laughs> but if we're wearing white underwear three hours later, there's a skid mark. Right. It's like it's like it's like a crayon, like a brown crayon, just comes <laughs> sticking out, <laughs> color of the underwear. And anyway, this is so impossible. But yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with eating ass. Is there footwork? Is there something wrong with eating ass? Do you approve with eating ass? Doing like, what? Eating ass. Yeah. See? If footwork does it, it's obviously clean. Yeah. I mean, there's not a crisper, cleaner man in the FGC than footwork. Exactly. And he's gonna eat a girl's ass. Exactly. Mardon, eat Mardon that nigga. ass. You gotta eat that ass. You gotta You gotta make love to that ass, bro. That nigga, uh, Gray called it a chocolate starfish. That's what you gotta believe that shit is. Okay, <laughs> 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 Anyone know what I the score of the match is? Uh, I, oh think, I think White Beast has been winning because he has a lead. Or a streak, I mean. Oh! Oh! Yeah, now he's, yeah, he's in a streak. A streak of hits. The white Beast just comes back at it. He says, you can burn the meter, you still gotta deal with me in the final round. Oh, good. See, what I don't get though is how it's like easy it is to read and call these flags. Incidentally, who is going to combo breaker this year? I know Hollow is. Hollow said he's going to be. And I, aside from me, I know I am, I know Darius is, I believe. Yeah, you said Harry. Where's Hollow? Combo Breaker at? Hollow's going, huh? Where's Combo Breaker at? He's gonna be in Chicago. Chicago. Wasn't it in Detroit like last year? No, no, oh. Chicago. It, it replaced uh, you have GTA. You have the ultimate fighting tournament. What's the score, guys? White Beast? Oh, Alex Lane obviously cheating. <laughs> Up 2-0. Actually, you know, I've been watching a lot of streams lately. I have not seen a better fang a Fong than Alex Lane. Exactly. I not even Sonic Fox. Is I have not seen nobody play Fox Fang Lee. better than better than, That's than Alex. I gave you a shout out earlier today. I said you have the best Fang in the world, man. Smile for me, please. Can you hear okay, me? He's too focused. He's in a hip. He's in a hypnotic trance that it does not. Allow him to hear anybody. Right. It's, it's like Unless, of course, you're yelling well, at This him. is like, uh, he hasn't been able to get past the, the corn boys. Really? The, the, Alex has won every Street Fighter tournament except when uh, Seth and Devil Chip have shown up. Well, so, yeah, I've noticed. Well, this yeah, is a good Chip start. So like, far, he's had a good start. He's already got 2-0. Yeah. I believe this is 2-0. So this is a good start for him. Maybe it could just be the uh, This is the break the streak right here. And I think the last, I think last ran bad. I, I'd have to go back and look, but I don't. Uh, I was told, I was told that Seth won it. Yeah. And I don't know if he, did he play Alex in winners or or he played Banana Ken. I'm not sure. Seth, you're in the chat. Who'd you who'd you beat last ran bad? I think he takes back. Seth beat Alex in winner. Okay, yeah, he beat Alex in winner, so. Okay. So it won't be a total uh, run back. 
if he wins here, but... I got faith in him. This is match point! I believe this I is match, match point! point. Match yep. point. Well, you know, I, you know, Alex Lane, I, I honestly, no kidding, I think he's probably would be one of the top players in Michigan. Well, you no, know, in the in the in the country, if he got a chance to travel more. Um, and he has such a cool FGC name, though. Oh yeah, Alex Lane, like the White Beast, Alex Lane. Like that's that's so descriptive. That's like the best description. Well, I mean, you look at how many Warrior of the Weeklies in a row, you know, cumulative. That um, Antoine Ortiz won. Alex beat Antoine twice. He took he took two of those before Antoine left. Oh really? Yeah, he's the only he's the only person to legitimately beat Antoine Ortiz in finals. Yeah, um, the only Michigan player. Well, Antoine didn't make it to finals the night that uh that um uh Wolf Crone and um, oh, yeah. Perfect Legend showed up. Antoine took third that night. He uh he couldn't get that night. He he couldn't get past a viper. And any time, <laughs> and any time, Alucard couldn't make it to a stream. There we go. Like White Beast going on remember, to the grand final. Remember that place. time? Remember that time Alucard left and we, and the entire 696 flooded? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. The, uh, the, um, uh, Seth updating us here. He beat. Uh, Seth beat. Alex in winners finals, and then Ale Alex lost to Banana Ken in losers finals. Right, who? Banana Ken. Who's that? <gasps> wow, you are new, aren't you? Yeah. Jalen doesn't even know who Banana Ken is. You two Banana Ken when you get home. Yes. Okay. He is like he is like one of the uh, best fighting game players in the world, and he's actually from Michigan. Really? He was Antoine before Antoine was Antoine. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> And he's one of the nicest guys you'll actually ever meet. In fact, when when he showed up to play that ra last ram bat, uh -huh. like I thought it looked like his name's Jose, and I was like, I thought it looked like Jose, but I was like, eh, there's no way Jose would be coming to you know to my piddly little ram bat, and I'm like, so what's your name? And he's like, Jose. <laughs> Also go by Banana Ken. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> my jaw drops. I like felt like such an asshole. So we got a Birdie versus Vega match. Oh, uh, oh, this will be fun to watch. Actually, I'm actually intrigued by this matchup. Does anybody know this matchup or have seen it? Uh, I think I've seen it one time, but I didn't pay much to it, much attention to it, unfortunately. Well, let's it let's seems look like at the bracket really and see who. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post the bracket real quick in the stream chat so you guys can follow along. I'm super curious to see what's Vegas' answer for the guys. I mean, it might just be a V skill, but still, like, I'm super, super curious. Everybody knows you just neutral jump for guys, but like, you know, they can do this. I don't know roll. Yep, yep, chat. Banana, banana was Twan before Twan was Twan, because uh, Banana Ken was the guy that was pretty much well known as the like world famous Michigan and was from Michigan. And he, uh, I think the first time I got I, play, I, I played in a tournament was one where he was at, and, he, and I remember he played Wolfcrown. It was the first time I seen Wolfcrown in person, and those two played an incredible set, and uh, Banana Ken won. And uh, there was a bit of a micro micro rivalry between those guys for a little bit. Okay, so let's look at the. How long has Wolfgang been around? He's been around pretty long. How old is he? Um, he's not that old, but he's a uh, he was around before Street Fighter Four. He just got famous in Street Fighter Four, but you know he used to hang out. He used to come to these and he used to roll with the corn guys. How old is he though? Like, is he like late twenty? Because I know he's got, he's, Antoine, he's, Antoine's like going on thirty this year, isn't he? Yeah, he's got to be late twenties. Man, I'll be real with you. I honestly thought Wolfram was like twenty-one when I first saw him. Cause he looked like he could be. He looked like he could literally be his own South Park character. Like he'll have the exact same design. <laughs> Jesus God! People think I'm mean. Oh, um, see, like when I saw that, I was like, I could totally see you skipping down in terrible graphics down this hallway. <laughs> like, 
like. <laughs> Doesn't he though? Like, he's about the same in everything. Like, he's like a little mini Rick Ross. Well, he, he and um. Oh, that, what was that tournament he just lost to Twan in Texas? Texas uh, yeah, showdown. Yeah, and he had the he had the uh, he had the bandana. Duh. And I didn't I didn't recognize it as him until uh, um, the video came up and, and went to pat him both on the shoulder Duh. and accidentally knocked Crone's hat off. Duh. I'm blaming the uh, Rufus loss on that because he just looked flustered. Man, my hands messed up. My bandana's messed up. I'm fucked. It's all your fault, video. Ladies and gentlemen, and for those who saw that ugly mug of Vegas, we deeply apologize what, for that. One zero. That's funny, bro. Yeah, what's up with the like? How come? So how come nobody likes Wolf now? Bro? Like, I noticed no, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say no one. I mean, he's he's still got a lot of fans. He's still pretty popular. Um, no, I'm saying like no one from like the Michigan like. The ones that come, like, cause I haven't been here for a while, but I keep, I keep up with, like, with this stuff. I know it's like, you even posted something, like, you told, you were talking about Antoine, like, you know, he shows everything possible, does whatever he can. Wolfhound doesn't do this, doesn't oh, do that. Yeah. How oh. come every, when did everybody start, like, hounding on him like that, though? Um, like, even, like, uh, All Caps was saying, like, once, once Viper got a nerf, like, he wasn't shit anymore. <laughs> pretty, much, well, shit. pretty much, I mean, he's still got friends to be, like, him and, uh, him and my and uh, you know Q, who's on my team, him and Wolfcrone are really close. So like you know, out of respect for Q, I don't I I stopped talking a lot of crap about him. But what a lot of people's main problems with him is like he was kind of um, he's got a reputation of being cheap. Like you yeah, look you, you can look up like uh, uh, him and Justin Wong agreed to split a pot, and then like and Wong agreed to do it because Wolfcrone was looking pretty. Uh, Sad and broke, oh, and, didn't, and didn't think he was gonna win. And then Wolfcorn won the tournament, and then he wouldn't split with Wolfie. We wouldn't split with with a Whoa. Whoa. Um, my yeah, problem. That sounds that's, more like being more more than cheap. And my and no, then, then like, like my like, my problem was a com was a combination when I heard about him stiffing a waitress, and then when he came back from after losing that money match. Uh, he was hounding the crap out of me to uh, raise the prices last round. Yeah, I've heard about that. And then when I wouldn't do it, uh, he posted something about Monday nights about how it's not worth his trouble to come anymore because it's you know uh, two dollars isn't worth his time. Yeah. And uh, so then, and this is, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna publicly apologize to Wolf Chrome for this. After he posted that, I was in the middle of typing my my shitbag response. You know, because, I mean, I blew up at, at, at Adonis when Adonis said something bad about $2 dreams, too. And I'm pretty proud of what I got going on here. And, uh, while yeah, I was you're, the, you're doing it massively. You're attracting, like, you, you're getting a lot of casualties, more casualties than, like, most yeah. of them. And, and uh, while I was typing that up, um, I get a po I get a private message from Wolf Crone, like, saying, Hey, Jason, why don't you do a, um, a post, a, a poll, to see if there's interest in raising the prices on that. And... Uh, what I took it is was him playing the pulling the celebrity card, s threatening not to come to Monday nights anymore to try to get me to raise the prices for Rambats. Right. Because he just lost that money match to um um that he lost all that money to um uh who what's his name the the, the other heel in the FGC uh, uh Filipino champ champ yeah. F champ lost all that money to F champ. So I, th I thought he was trying. I, yeah, no, no. Uh, he he went to another tournament and did a money match with F Champ for like five hundred five hundred dollars and lost. Wow, he is like the meat meal of the FTC. <laughs> what the fuck? So I thought. Oh, I, so shit. I mistakenly thought Wolf Crone was trying to pull his celebrity card on me to bully me into raising the prices, and that actually was not the case. Actually, uh, Corn's King Cobal told him, hey, why, you know, Jason's reasonable, why don't you ask him to do a poll? So Wolf Cronin was in good faith asking me to do a poll to see if there's interest in, in raising the fee from, you know, from 5 to like 10. And I mistook it as him trying to pull the celebrity card on me, so, you know, I like really blew up on him. And if he was really struggling like that, he just came up to you like, yo, bro, yeah. <laughs> well, too, and it also, in a, in a certain sense, it actually does made as like as many people that agreed with me that that agreed me with with you know my 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 opinion on the Wolf Chrome thing. It actually kind of made me look really small because just like three weeks earlier, I had asked him to join JWE as a like a a, a member and an owner. 
and he and he said he didn't feel comfortable. You know, he didn't want to join the team. What is JWE? Uh, Jason Wall Raven Entertainment. Oh, I thought so. Okay. The premier minister and DJ company in the state. And, oh, uh, and you're like sponsoring people? Well, I got the team. I got the team, and I do what I can to like, you know, uh, throw some money at people when I can. And I'm looking for actual paid sponsors to make it a real. Um, uh, oh, so you're like up? Are you like trying to be up and coming, like evil genius? Here? Yeah, you know, kind of do a flip side of what Critical Reaction does. And you know, so I'm trying to I'm trying to pull that angle. And at the time, Wolf Crone it was pulling a lot of heat over uh, um, Rage Quitting. And we got Q, who massive, massively rage quits live. You know, I think twice he's walked up when he's losing his match, and you know, it was, it was like the, the final, you know, grand finals, and he's, he's lost, and he shut the machine off. Right? He did it once to Antoine, and did another time, I think, to Alex. You know, so I was like, I had a whole marketing thing built on like, you know, capitalizing on the whole rage quit thing like you know the, I had the whole idea for shirts with a picture of Crone holding a, a, a cat 5 cable saying no win for you <laughs> oh dog you know and the same thing with Q you know cause he's got he's got that reputation locally yeah I don't know if he does that in line or not but um um and, but you know he re Crone was respectful and he turned me down wasn't shitty about it and I think emotions um um Damn, so it's 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 two one right now, right? Two one devil chip. Losers finals. So uh, I think it's a situation where I Chroma's off his off his head emotionally, intellectually after losing all that money coming you know, coming back to Michigan. And um I didn't like the attack on Monday night, and I and I went after him the same way, you know, I, I, the same way I went after Adonis. And um, I can't hear myself at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Marnon hit the volume on the mixer. <laughs> so, so again, you know, the, the opinions of Corona are pretty popular, and. I, I don't apologize for everything that I say. I totally do apologize for coming after him after sending me that private message about doing a poll to raise, you know, see about raising Rambat prices. And, um, uh, he asked me that in good faith, apparently, and I took it the wrong way. So I publicly, I do apologize real quick to Josh Philpot. I hope he did. Yeah. But then again, that did bring the whole thing up when I was, you know, talking about, you know, that match with him and Antoine at, uh, at, uh, Texas Showdown. When he won that, I messaged Tuan. I was like, fuck yeah, you got your revenge for Unicon. Because Wolfram, after losing to Antoine here at Mint Masher Mondays, Wolfram lost to Antoine and then disappeared and didn't reappear until Unicon. And, uh, he got a lot of mileage out of doing that with, uh, Viper. And so Antoine took that match at Texas Showdown handily. And so I messaged Antoine. It's like, you know, fuck yeah, you got your uh, revenge for uh, Yumicon. And Antoine messaged back, no Viper, no win. And then like 20 minutes later, I see on his Twitter, that's his, he had a hashtag yet, no Viper, no win. And, uh, and then just brought me back to, even though like maybe he was, Crone wasn't in his right mind, you know, was a little upset when he said it. Oh, and... That's gonna put Aaron in third. Is gonna be, uh, walk away in third place tonight. It's gonna be Devil Chip. And Alex Lane. Or White Beast. SRM White Beast. In the Street Fighter Five Grand Finals. It is now midnight. Uh, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you got big feet. Yeah, I do. I thought you meant me. I got tiny feet. My daughter was 9 pounds, 12 ounces, 22 and a half inches, and she has the longest, like, talons and claws. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Yeah, I hope she doesn't have hands like that. See, I gotta, like, I gotta be careful. Like, if I go, like, to Meyer where they got the second floor, because I got, like, small feet, but a big dick. 
So if I'm not, if I walk too close to the edge, <laughs> it'll pull me right through the fucking, you know, right over the edge. <laughs> oh god, that's so stupid, bro. <laughs> No, you. I mean, I'm just, I'm just joking. But you ever see those girls that are like so large chested? You yeah. definitely don't want them leaning over the edge. Yeah, like, gravity. Will, there's no gravity. Adjustment gravity will quick. pull your ass right over. <laughs> All right, so I think Aaron made back his money tonight. Take it off. Mr. Uh, the Reverend All Cap, Mr. All Caps. Yeah. I'm still salty for that time you put me up against Wolf Crown after I saw it. Like, I didn't even know who that nigga was until I saw him, like, mysteriously come out of nowhere <laughs> at Yomakon. I was like, you gonna put them up to me third round? Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm trying to get my money worth. <laughs> like, I know I ain't gonna win shit, but at least let me get, like, four or five confidence boosts, please. Do you have a dollar? Okay, sir. No problem. Yeah, I'll let I'll let you know um later on in the week if I'm able, if I'm able to come on stream on Sunday. So here we are, grand final now. The fight it's White Bee's looking strong. Already put already putting up. He should that's it. There should be enough poison to uh, oh, wow. there should be enough poison to take down a mule, but Birdie's not a mule. Yeah, he's dotting him up, though. This is literally... Wow, Brady, wow this, Devil Chip trying to continue his assault. He's he not looking like at his health. Up. His health was just going down. It was yelling timber. It was moving. And this, gentlemen, this is the difference between going home with $17 and going home with $59. Oh, man. That's basically what they're playing for right now. Almost <laughs> over six, almost $60. <sighs> Yo, fifty nine dollars though. That can like get like a regular man like some ramen, Kool Aid, and a couple pizzas when he feels like treating himself. Like, that'll keep your ass alive for a week. Watch the reversal. Well, thirty nine cent ramen, and uh, you just get like a package of pepperoni to go with it, so you throw some protein in there. <laughs> yeah, like you, man, you know how many niggas that you will then would die for fifty nine dollars a week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they were fighting coliseums for that shit, like fifty nine dollars. Shit! I'm down. Mom, Q cash advance me some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Good. And the way those poisons make good anti-airs in a way. No, yeah, they are. They like like a, Alex Lane plays Fang with such crisp and like finesse, and it is insane. Like I saw, I saw Sonic Fox play Taquito at Texas Showdown. Was it Texas Showdown? I'm not wanting to say. But I was surprised. Look, it's not a fox. Is an SF fox now? And I was like, oh, he's got fame. I was like, oh, okay. I can honestly see him. I can honestly see Alex. And I was like, Alex, this too. Possibly, Alex. If you got, if you were, you're like the most well known. Oh, he got the. He can't hear me. Yeah, like I said, he's in a trance. Right. So no, like. I w we would have had a bigger pot too, but we had like three, four people no show. Like uh. Tom Rose couldn't get out of work. Um, I know. I know McDougie was stuck at work. McDougie, yeah, he he, he couldn't get anyone to scoop him up. Uh, Does he have a car? No. Okay. I thought he, he seemed like the type of guy that would have a car. Like, like he seemed like the type of guy to have like an O3 Malibu or something. Or not Monte Carlo. I mean, he 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 seemed like the type of person that would drive a Monte Carlo. Oh, oh, good crap. Good Devil crap. Chip saw that coming. Devil Chip's not looking to end his path to victory just yet. Yo, oh, he dived in. He dived in. Oh, he is doing the worst. What I'm loving right now is like the super fundamental jab short special. Like that is just so. I'm like I feel like I'm in Street Fighter 2 again.
What's going on? Talk to me. Oh lord. Oh man. Oh, sorry folks. Yeah, the names are wrong. There has been payouts. It's a patient game now. Oh, the V trigger. The V reversal. The V nothing. The dots. Oh no. The grabs. Why is whip, whip and the oh. oh, the blocks! And the blocks are the phenomenal! Didn't touch him. The meaties. The meaties. Ken didn't even touch him. Is that 1 0 right now? That is 1 1. 1 1. We are getting. It, it is going to be an interesting match, ladies and gentlemen. I kid you not. You know, the first time I saw Birdie, I thought he had keloids in his ears. Oh, why the hell are your ears so small? Oh. What the hell smacked you on? Oh, that was... Take care, Brad. Be safe, man. Keeping all that poison on him as much as possible, so that it'll hopefully drain as much of his life as possible. Oh, but it doesn't work. Brad. He gets out of it. Ooh, escape Good from grand. the grapple of the birdie. And into Close. the grapple of the bang. Good luck. Good luck. Good dodge. Good dodge. Good dodge. Good dodge. Right. Now, oh, oh, good slide from, the, from Fight Beast. Uh, oh, but he gets the shorts. The shorts. The shorts will save your life in any situation. Or any in any doubt, do a jab or short, and you will win the round. I promise you. It is such a cheap tactic, but it's so fun. It's so cool. Oh! Oh, good grab, man. That was it. I just realized, do you think Michigan is kind of like the birdie, like, central, central area? Like, we have so many birdies here. So many suburbs? Birdies. I have Birdie players. I, I think so. In this case, do we, get, do we do have too many birdies sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, look, we got Hollow, Q, Chip, Mad King has a birdie. Twan has a birdie. He tapped into his Michigan roots. He said, I need an alt. But like Michigan is like I think got the most birdies. Oh. Burn in the time. Alex Lane does not care. He will wait you out. Sorry. It looks like it looks like White Beast is trying to go for a long range game. Not until he has the opening for a short range, and it seems to be working for him. Uh -oh. oh! 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 He will chase you down. He doesn't need to do anything at this point. Oh! He doesn't need oh! to do anything because he just needs got to. Wow. Just got to. Good. He beat. He beat him. It was going to be a timeout. Was a mount. Just like Fang well, was, really that's need, He really didn't need to do anything at this point. He took down enough, he took down enough flight. He just had to, he just had to guess the right hit. So we're all tied up in this match. Birdie takes the poison. Oh, the trade. Traded up the cannon. Trying to make it. Oh, look at that! Look at look that! Look at Bird! And he. Took uh, a lot almost. of life from Birdie. Maybe if Birdie had a hundred less life, he would have been done. He said, <laughs> and game two goes to goes to, uh, to White Beast. Alex Lane, the White Beast. 
too long right now. So yeah. has anybody, is there any reason why, like, Fang is still an acronym? Has anybody figured that out yet? Um, we're still, we're still trying to figure that out. Alright, so White Bee's uh, one game away from, uh... What if Fang stands for fucks all We need his first ran back. Or finger all niggas grandies. <laughs> That's what Fang <laughs> starts. Finger all niggas grandies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what fans <laughs> for. <laughs> he, 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 he's weird enough to do that shit. Like, yo, bro, what's up? I'm a finger, your grandma. <laughs> Dude, don't work that one. Don't work. <laughs> bro, what if Fang starts with fingers on niggas' grand, granny? <laughs> like, he's like, yo, dog, what's up? I'm a finger, your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. I didn't like, on the screen. Oh, god. My apologies. We joined this match in progress. That was so funny. Man. God damn it! I did that at least once a broadcast. I've been oh, good. Oh, that was nice. I've done good. I hadn't done it for several weeks. Now and then lame. one joke He's about fingering, bl fingering black people, black grannies, <laughs> <laughs> and I leave it on the wrong screen. Finger all niggas grannies. <laughs> like that's, that's the exact thing that nigga stands for though. Like, like he's the exact person to be like, "What's up, nigga? I'm a finger your grandma." Like, that's all that was. That was the That's all. That's all that was. Oh, he takes the hit. Chip, now he's on territory. Alex is on tournament point. And he escapes off. Oh, he's even wearing a seraphim shirt tonight. All this poison, and Birdie's still got a lot of life. I just noticed that Alex Lane is sporting his uh, SRM t shirt. Yeah. Because you know who's going to be the white. I think they don't they normally wear it like mainly on the. Uh, Main event. Well, that changed, yeah, event. that changed real quick. Oh, missed the good combo. Oh, there it is. But, he ooh, tried to die. Nice there we go. Hit. What can he do? Hit. What's he going to do? What is he? He's waiting him out. Oh. I don't oh. think there's anything he can do. Oh, this is this is what matters. This is make or break for Devil Chip. If he can guess the right combo, if he can guess the right counter. He's rushing it. He's rushing it. Oh! oh my God. And Alex Wallane takes the Michigan Rambats for the month of May. White Beast takes his GGs first Rambat. The, mid, the Midwest... Monthly number five Michigan Rambats, your Street Fighter Five champion, Alex the White Beast Lane. Fuck you. You know. So <laughs> 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 it's twelve fourteen now, and we're actually done. Oh, I gotta go home. Too bad Monday nights can't be like this. Alright, this is Jason Warraven, Mardon, and Jalen, Rad Dad. <laughs> yeah, Rad Dad Jalen. Peace out, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Take care, America. Warraven Weekly 112. And like I said, you know, the, the room's not dead. It just everyone wants to be on this side of the room. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mic drop. I'm gonna be